Lesson 16.4D, Finding Measures of Center from a Dot Plot. We can find and calculate measures of center and spread from a dot plot. Measures of center, such as the mean or median, are used to describe the middle of a data set. We covered that in video 16.1a and 16.1b. Those are linked in the description. A measure of center is also called a measure of central tendency. It is the measure of what tends to be the center. So let's do a real quick review. The mean, that's the average. It's the sum of the set divided by the amount of numbers in the set. If our set of data values is 1, 3, 7, and 9, we add them, we get a 20. There are four numbers in the set, so we divide it by 4. The average is 5. The mean is 5. The median, that's the middle number or the average of two middle numbers in an ordered set. So remember, if we've got an even amount of numbers, we have to find the two middle numbers and find the mean or average of those two. And because 6 and 7 are the two middle numbers, we would add them. And there's two numbers, so we're going to divide it by 2. We have 13 divided by 2. So the median is 6.5, 6 and a half, 6 and 5 tenths. The range, well, that's the greatest value minus the least value. We have the greatest value 11, the least value is 3, the range is 8. Now be careful when finding a mean or median when our data set contains zeros. The zeros are important. We have a 0, 4, 5, and 7 in our data set. It's the number of pets of four students. To find the mean, we'd add the 0 plus the 4 plus the 5 plus the 7, and because there's four numbers in the set, we're going to divide it by 4. That means the average, the mean, is 4 pets. We needed that 0 to divide by 4 because there's four numbers here. If we didn't include the 0, then we'd be dividing by 3, and we'd get a different mean, which would be wrong. If 0 is a data value, we must include it in our calculations, so we'll divide by the correct number or find the correct middle number. For the median, we have 4 and 5 in the middle. We divide it by 2, and we get 9 halves. That would be 4 and 5 tenths. If we didn't include this 0, we'd think that the 5 was the middle number, and that's wrong. The median is 4 and 5 tenths, not 5. We needed that 0 to find the mean of these two middle numbers, okay? We can find the mean, median, and range of the data points in this dot plot. These are pets owned by some students. Don't forget the 0. To find the mean, we've got three zeros here. That means we've got three and 4, that's 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 data points. That means that we need to divide by 12. If we didn't include those zeros, we'd be dividing by 9, and we'd get the wrong average, the wrong mean. We add them all up, and we get 18. There's 12 values, so we divide it by 12. That's 1 and 6 twelfths, or 1 and a half. For the median, we list them in order. We find the middle number or middle numbers and find the mean of those two numbers, we get a 1. And the range, we look at the greatest number 5, the least number 0, we don't forget the 0, we subtract and the range is 5. The range of data is 5. Now looking at our dot plot, we can see one student answered 5. 5 is an outlier, a data value that's far from the others. And the 5 seems to be affecting the measures of center. And to see if this is true, we can find the mean and median without including the outlier. We take the outlier out, so we're not going to add 5 when we find the mean. And now, since we took it away, we've only got 11 values in our data set. We add them up, we get 13 divided by 11. That's 1 and 2 elevenths. That's less than the mean when we included the outlier. When we look at the median, 
And if we take this 5 away, we don't have it in our list. And when we go to find the middle number, we get a 1. Well, that stayed the same. Without the outlier, the mean is less, but the median stayed the same. If you're going to do this, remember when you take that outlier away, you are now dividing by one less number. We're not dividing by 12 anymore. We're dividing by 11. Looking at the shape of the dot plot, one pet is the most typical amount. And finding the median didn't change when removing the outlier, this 5. The median may be more typical of the data that's shown here. With the outlier, our mean was a 1.5. That's including this 5 outlier. But without the outlier, when we took it away, our mean was 1 and 2 elevenths. With the outlier, our median was a 1. And without the outlier, our median was a 1. That's why the median may be more typical of the data. The median is the middle number of a distribution of data and isn't affected by the numbers on either side of it. Remember, a statistical question will yield variable data. They will have more than one answer. We talked about that in 16.4a. A statistical question example would be, how much does a typical dog weigh? Well, there's all kinds of dogs. Non-statistical questions have one answer, like, how much does your dog weigh? We're finished with Lesson 16.4. We're going to do 16.5, which is split into three parts, and it's about histograms. We're going to learn about grouping data in intervals. So remember, when finding measures of center, like a mean or a median, count those zeros. They're important. And remember, a statistical question has more than one answer. Have a great day, and I hope to see you for 16.5.